Hello and thank you for checking out the ProWeb Tax Software training video. Uh, the purpose of this video is to show you how the web-based software has been optimized for use on mobile devices. Again, it's 100% web-based software, so you can use it on anything that has an internet browser. But specifically, if you're using a tablet or using a phone, it's also been optimized to work well for those type of, uh, type of devices. So I'm going to log into the software here. I'm just logging in as a preparer into my office, and this is just a demo office. And you can see I've got all the same options of, as if I had logged in on a laptop or a desktop. And what we're going to focus on is just the speed of throughput, how easy it is to do a return. So I'm going to click on Start a New Tax Return. That's my 7216 reminder. And it's going to pull up a double entry for a social security number here in a second. And we're going to type in just a made up social. Oops. All right. You can see how it's going to correct you whenever you make a mistake. The, the item turns red, giving you immediate feedback. So this is telling us that, hey, this social that you just put in, is not a prior year client, so it's a new client to you. So we don't have any data in here for them. So I'm going to click continue. We're going to pick our filing status. In this case, we'll go ahead of household. You can see that next to that, we've got the filing status wizard that can help you determine the appropriate filing status if you're not certain. Click continue. And this is going to be our uh, personal information page. So we're going to call this personal and last name of info and we go down to the birth date on five let's say five of nineteen eighty five and what do they do they are a teacher and where do they live they live at uh, 2111 easy street in Florida, just so we don't have to do a state return on this, just to show you how fast it is. Oops, 305, something like that as a phone number. We're gonna put two phone numbers in because of the bank application requires two phone numbers to contact the taxpayer. Let this load. It takes us to the next screen asking us, do you have any dependents? We say, yes, we do. Put in first dependents name. Everything highlighted is a mandatory field. Um, you can see that it pops in the last name automatically for you, carrying it over. If it was different, you would just change it. Just backspace that out and put in the appropriate last name. Social security number. Again, just making something up here. And relationship, we're going to say that this was a son, lived with us for 12 months, not a student. None of these other circumstances or options apply, so we just click continue. I'm going to just say that we had the one dependent in this scenario. Click continue again. And then it's going to take us to our federal section. And this is where the we've really optimized how you can navigate. This... Uh, up towards the top, under the W and the A, at the very top header, there's a little box with the three uh, horizontal lines. That's your menu. So if you click in here, you can see you can see your federal refund calculate, your state. You can search form numbers up here. You can just start typing in a form, and it'll pull up your form number, so you can jump exactly where you want to be. Under the federal section, you can see that it'll expand for you into your major categories, income deductions, and so forth. You have your health insurance, and it's pretty much just like the, uh, the application would be used for a desktop. You've got your helpful tools down at the bottom and your notes section as well. So I'm just going to jump to income. It's going to present me the guide me option or the enter myself. I'm going to do the enter myself. Guide me will ask you a series of questions and prompt the necessary forms for you. I'm going to go just straight to a W-2. Again, we're trying to do a real simple return quickly in the platform just to show you how, how you could use it in the field. 
9876543321 is our EIN, and I missed a 7. We click there. It populates our, ten, our uh, EIN employer database information. We're going to say that they made $18,643, and they had uh, $951 withheld. Drop down. We're going to just click continue down here at the bottom. Let's go back and look at how our refund's calculating just by clicking right there. Current refund's about $4,900. That's looking pretty good. So we're going to go to the health insurance section now. This has to be answered on every taxpayer because of the Affordable Care Act. And we drop down to the questionnaire. We're going to say uh, answer this no. It's asking us, did you or your family have health insurance? We're just going to say no for the sake of time. And it's going to ask me then, did you have an exemption? Go continue to the next page. Did you receive a marketplace exemption? I'm going to say no again for the sake of time. Next section, we're, we're done with our federal. If we've entered in everything appropriately, we're going to continue. It's going to take me to my summary and actually drop me into, so this is the calculation summary of how everything's been calculated. If you're not sure how your payments worked and where your refund came from, well, there, there they are for you. It tells you how much EIC you received, um, your wages, withholdings, crat, credits, and so forth. And we're just going to click continue. And we're into our EIC checklist. So we're going to answer these real quick. Did, were you a non-resident alien? No. Anybody else claiming the kid? No. Uh, yes. 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 Obviously, you need to ask these of your taxpayer, but I'm just uh, going through it real quick. And they brought in some of that stuff. Click continue. Miscellaneous statement. Click continue. We're going to bypass that. We don't need that. We're going to go to our e-file page. This is where we are going to select how the taxpayer wants their tax refund dispersed to them. Do they want a check mailed to them, snail mail from the IRS? Do they want a debit card uh, from the bank? Do they want a check that they can go down and turn into cash very simply with our check cashing agreements at uh, you know national brands? We're gonna come in here and go to federal refund type. We're gonna say we're gonna do a TFS ERC, that's a check. Go next. It pulls up our next section, which would have our fees in here. Um, we don't have a billing schedule in here, but normally the fees would automatically populate for you. If you had an email address in there, you could put that in, and we'll say it's tax123 at uh, gmail.com. And we put next. Bank application information, we need to put in the taxpayer's information as far as their ID type that they displayed to you. Issue date, uh, we're going to say it was September 10th, right there. And the expiration date, sometime in the future, is right there. And it was in Florida. Go to next. And we just click save. This takes us to our final page. Oops, unless you screwed something up, which I just did. So it's telling me that, hey, you forgot to check the box that says the 70, 7216 has been delivered to the taxpayer, which is that guy right there. And we go down and we click save. Should be able to get to the next screen now. Cool. So this is where we would do our printing if you were in the desktop software. We're going to do the emailing, um, the copy of the tax return to the taxpayer. So you don't have to actually print anything. And I'll show you how to do that in a moment. So what I'm going to do now is have the taxpayer sign that this is all accurate and true, right? And you're getting back uh, gross refunds, 4800 um, after all the fees and everything, you're going to get back uh, roughly 4516 bucks. 
Does that sound great? Cool. Go ahead and sign. They sign. Oh, I clicked the wrong button. You click save that signature. It saves that signature right into the software. And then at this point, you can either mark it ready for review. You can transmit it to the IRS just by clicking the big green button. You can save and exit if you're going to go back and review this at the office later and you know make all your copies or however you're doing that. You would save and exit or save and transmit and it would send that return on its way. Pretty simple, pretty fast. Um, we've had a lot of good feedback with the people that we've been beta testing the, uh, the optimization of the platform with and they say that it's going to make things a lot easier. So we're going to go in and show you how you can attach documents and email. So I'm going to do client search. And I think I, how did I, I forget how I even labeled this guy. I think it was info, personal, personal. So let's search the database here. And I don't know what I did. Let's go back to client search. There's only six files in it. There it is. Taxpayer name. It's the fourth one down. So I'm going to click select options and I can use scan documents. You can actually use the camera on your phone to take pictures of their tax return documents and upload them into the software. Super cool. Um, you can also check on the status of a client's tax return by clicking on client status to see um, whether or not it's been rejected, you know, where it, when it was e-filed, a whole bunch of good information there. Email a return. This is what I really want to talk about is it pulls up and pulls in the PDF of that individual. You would type in their email address if you didn't supply one in the tax return. Uh, Sonalinfo at gmail.com. It uses the last four of their social as the uh, PDF encryption key. And then it just tells you kind of, hey, your last four of your socials been used has the PDF encryption key. You click send email and it will absolutely send that email to that individual with their PDF encrypted um, needing that password. So very, very cool. We're excited about it. We hope that you're excited about the use of the uh, Pro Web software optimized for your mobile devices. And uh, we look forward to working with you this upcoming tax season. Thanks for taking the time to take a look. Have a great one.